Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for another video. In today's video, I'm taking you guys along on two days while I clean and organize my house. I was becoming really overwhelmed, really anxious, and just really upset with the way my house was turning out. You guys are gonna see the complete mess and disorder in here, and it was just really getting to me. So before the holidays, I decided to go out throughout my house and get a lot of this cleaned up, organized, and tidied up. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Michelle. I have four kids. I have two older boys who are eight and 10, and I also have a two-year-old little boy and a almost eight-month-old little girl. Whether you're a work-from-home mom, a stay-at-home mom, or a working mom, life is pretty chaotic with little ones, so I'm here to share with you guys how I try and stay on task. I do believe that life is a lot more enjoyable when you're organized, when your home is tidy, free of clutter. You can focus on your kids and family life a lot better that way. So if you guys do like this style video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. That helps my channel out so, so much. And if you're popping by for the first time, I would love to have you guys subscribe. So on the first day of the cleaning, this is actually just after dinner time, so it's a little bit later in the evening and before the kids go to bed, I thought I would tackle up their bedrooms. I'm actually gonna be doing my toddlers and my baby's bedrooms and my bathroom up here as well. When I have guests over, they don't typically go upstairs, so I kind of seem to neglect the upstairs area. Like you guys saw, laundry will collect up here. Things just collect and now with cold and flu season, we're spending a lot of time indoors. There's a lot more dust, there's a lot more germs. So I'm just going ahead while my little ones are sick and have a cold and just take off all the dust from their cribs, vacuum their floors, just make sure that everything is germ-free, dust-free, just so they have a little bit of easier time breathing. I think that this is super important, especially with little ones. My daughter was actually admitted to the NICU at three days old. She was there for about 10 days uh, for some respiratory issues. So whenever she has a cough or a runny nose, or she's stuffy, whether it's from teething or anything like that, it just worries me. So I like to make sure that her space is clean. And even though she doesn't soil her bed, I always like to change out her crib sheet also just to make sure it's fresh and clean and there's no accumulating dust on it. Then I'm just gonna move on to her shelves and her dresser area and just quickly wipe that down. As usual, I'm using the Method line of cleaners, which I typically always use throughout my house. Right now, I'm just using the all-purpose cleaner, but I can also use the Wood for Good cleaner too, because this is all wood. But this is just like a generic cleaner, and I think that it does a really, really good job. The grapefruit scent smells really nice and natural, so I really like that for the kiddos' rooms especially. And finally, in her room, I'm just gonna give it a quick vacuum. I'm using the Dyson V8 Total Clean. I actually got this on Black Friday last year. It's holding up so, so well. I love the uh, ease of use of it. It's really portable, a stick vacuum. It's lightweight. It's super easy to empty, and it's just really, really good to get your floors clean, dust-free, and all of that. I feel like that is also super important to keep the dust away from your little one's rooms to vacuum up any kind of rugs and carpets that you may have.
And now moving on to my toddler's room. It's getting a little bit later, so I gotta rush through this before they get ready for bath and bed. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put all of his laundry away as well. As you guys can see, it's kind of cluttering the top of his dresser, and I really don't like that. I use the KonMari method of folding, especially my kiddos' clothes. I find that super easy to be able to sort through their dressers, find pieces of clothing that you want them to wear, and then not get lost with pieces of clothing in the bottom. So once all of that laundry is put away, I'm gonna quickly use my Wood For Good cleaner and just wipe down all of the surfaces. You guys could probably tell his room is getting emptier and emptier by the week and the video and the day. That is because we are gonna get ready probably in the new year, maybe late winter, I guess just when he's ready to transition him to his big boy toddler room, a room that he can kind of grow into a little bit and that he can have for several years. So we're just taking things out, really deciding how we want this to be. I'm gonna want it to be some type of like Montessori style room, uh, things that are really accessible for him as well and have like a little reading nook or designated area for some quiet play too so that when he transitions from a nap to no nap, he can come in his room, retreat a little bit and have some quiet time. He is gonna be two and a half in January and yes, he's still in a crib. That's just what worked for us at the time. As you guys can see now, I'm just quickly wiping down the baseboards and the back of his crib was just so bad. There was like a broken up teddy back there and there was also so much dust. You do not realize how much dust collects behind your furniture even that could be preventing your little ones from breathing properly. <laughs> And lastly for this evening, I'm moving on to our upstairs bathroom. I have been neglecting this washroom for far too long. You should actually see a close up of this bathtub, but I'm just way too embarrassed. And my little ones need a bath tonight. And I was like, I am going to get through this before I give them a bath. And now it's sparkling clean. You guys also saw I removed my shower curtain. That was just like unwashable anymore. We've had it for multiple years. It was getting all stained and gross. So I just decided to chuck that one out and then get a new one off of Amazon. So that one should be coming in in just a couple days. Thank goodness for Amazon Prime. It is amazing. And I just got like a basic white waffle knit one. It's one of their best sellers. It has some great reviews. But then I'm just gonna be cleaning up their bathroom up here. My toddlers are the only ones who use this bathroom up here. Everybody else showers in the basement. That's just what works for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Again, I'm still using the method cleaners, but I'm using the bathroom cleaner as well as a tile cleaner. They work really well. I find their smells, their scents are not super overwhelming. Sometimes you'll see me use some Clorox and Lysol and things like that if we have some sickness or germs or if we've had a lot of people in the home but I do definitely try and leave that as a minimum. Also, while you guys are watching this video or any of my videos, if you guys see a product or something that I'm using that you guys like, I try and link the majority of the things down below so you guys can check those out. Things like my vacuum, my mops, um, cleaners, like her little bath seat, dressers, dresser organizers, and all of that. Things that I really do talk about every single video because those are just like my ride or dies. They're things that I need in my house that I really can't go without. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Easton. 
Cheese. Hi. Cheese. Good morning. Mommy's gonna do some cleaning. You can eat your banana. Good girl. Good girl, Everly. Goodbye, mommy's gonna clean, okay? All right, so moving on to day two of the cleaning, you guys are gonna see that it's definitely a lot harder to clean and organize your house when you are alone with two babies, two and under. My husband is actually working today. He was home last night, so I was able to whip through those rooms really quickly, but this downstairs clean is going to take me forever. This drawer is like ridiculous, and I did organize it. I guess I was still pregnant with Everly, so it's probably been about eight and a half months. And it was fine, but now it's just awful. So I'm going to use these organizers that I got from the dollar store for just a couple dollars and organize this drawer a lot better. Hopefully it stays this way. But again, you never know. We have so many people just throw all kinds of junk in here and it was totally cluttering up the space. Every time I do like a big cleaning of my house or organizing, I always try and pick a couple drawers or a couple closets or someone's dresser or anything like that to just tackle at the same time. I'm already cleaning, I'm already organizing, so spending an extra few minutes doing a space like this. So this pile of stuff here is stuff that just doesn't even belong in there. My husband's gonna sort through that, see what he needs to keep, what he needs to not, because I don't even know what half of this stuff is. We've got some battery packs that we're taking up. We get these at Costco for like pretty inexpensive. And these big, huge, bulky things were taking way too much space in the drawer. I'm gonna go and separate those. These are things I'm keeping in the drawers. If you guys are new, we pulled these knobs off after we're done using them because my toddler likes to turn on the stove. And I've got some pens and some miscellaneous stuff. doesn't need to be in there there's just like miscellaneous pens and batteries I don't know if they're working charges and stuff we're not using and then if you look down here we also have a bunch of wires cords batteries garbage things we don't need in there if you look into the drawers there's some AAA batteries AA batteries like some cork screws ball stopper a few little like screwdrivers that we use normally some allen keys some little felt for like furniture. We have like some tape, our fireplace remote because we always lose it. Some uh, keys for our trailer. We just leave like our extra keys in here. Got some pens and highlighters and stuff and a couple little pencils for the kids for their homework because we're always losing them. These I wouldn't typically leave in here but we're planning on hanging up a few things in the next couple weeks. So before I lose them, we put them in here. This is for like canvas and different photos. This, we take it off because my toddler keeps opening our window in the family room. These, like I said, because he's always turning on the oven. Some double-sided tape, and then we plug in our toothbrushes in the kitchen. So I have that there, and then my toddler's um, toothbrush, or my toddler's iPad charger as well. So this is pretty much how it's gonna look. Probably gonna add some more of these little ones here, like one or two if they fit. Um, and maybe like a square one there. But this looks definitely a lot better than what it did before.
I definitely don't consider myself to be the most organized person, but I definitely do highly dislike clutter. I feel like when my countertops are cluttered, when the toy area is cluttered, when there's stuff everywhere, that really, really bothers me. It makes me really frustrated and stressed out, like I was saying earlier. So this does get like this, especially during the holidays. We are bringing so many things into the home, whether it be, you know, gifts for our children, gifts for family members, food, people are bringing stuff over and it just gets really, really overwhelming. So decluttering your space before the holidays is definitely super worth it. Now I'm just going to move on to cleaning up some of my kitchen uh, and cleaning up some of my drawers too. I like to clean out, especially my utensil drawer every so often because it does accumulate crumbs. I don't know how crumbs gets inside my utensil drawer and how it gets to look like this, but it's pretty bad. So I want to go ahead and just quickly vacuum that up. Again, I'm still using my Dyson, just a different attachment. I'm going to go ahead and vacuum that up and then I'm going to use my Method Antibacterial Cleaner just because this is like an area where we eat and our utensils sit in here. So just for extra germs, extra precaution, I like to do that too. It's also really nice to be like cleaning your silverware and making things a little extra neat for holiday guests because they're going to come over. They might open up your drawer to grab a utensil and then we'll see like crumbs and your utensils aren't organized or they're dirty or smudged. So I just wanted to make sure that all of that was nice and clean before we were hosting for the holidays. And then once that's done, I'm going to move on to a final section of drawers. So this is where we keep most of like my toddlers, um, eating food stuff, sippy cups, contigo cups, whatever, plates, bowls, all the plastic stuff, as well as my kids' lunch kits for school. This also collects crumbs and stuff, and I don't know why, but I'm going to go ahead and clean that up. I'm also going to really downsize on our plastic stuff. My toddler actually uses um, ceramic plates for his meals and things like that. So I'm just gonna get rid of all those ceramic plates because we aren't using them. They're cluttering the space. Half the time they're not where they need to be. They're getting gross and we just don't use them and we don't need that in our house. So that's a really good opportunity for me to just remove that and then put them away. Our ceramic dishes, we actually got them from Costco. They're really thin and cheap, but they do not break. Like they have fallen down on the floor so many times from having a young toddler and they are perfect. <music> If you guys have been on the channel here for a while, you guys know that I typically get up right in the morning and make my bed. I feel like that definitely starts off my day. That window there is the front of our house, so anyone who comes up to our front property will see inside our bedroom once the curtains are open. So I like to make sure that the space is really nice and neat and clear of any kind of clutter and just looks pretty and inviting for anyone walking up to the house. But this morning, you guys can see up that TV up in the corner. That's a really recent add-on to our master bedroom. And I had my toddler and my daughter sitting in my bed while I was nursing her this morning. They were having some cuddle time. We were watching a show or a movie. I forget what we were watching now. Uh, we were watching a movie and we we're just enjoying some one-on-one -on -one time with them. I feel like as much as I try and get a ton of stuff done around the house, and I'm doing this right now while my daughter's napping and my toddler is playing quietly and oh so nicely, it's also nice to just be able to um, put all of that stuff aside and just spend time with your little ones. I started trying to do this 10 minutes an hour thing and it's just getting um, something done for 10 minutes every single hour that I'm home and then the rest of the hour, the other 50 minutes, I am spending that with my little ones. Definitely takes a little bit longer in the day to get things done, but I am able to make sure that my house is fine 
and that I'm also spending time with my kiddos. The dust in this room has been crazy lately. You guys can't see it right now, but it's so dusty on here and I don't even know why. I guess it's that time of year. We got our ducks cleaned last year, but maybe it's time to get them cleaned again. Then I'm gonna move on to our computer area. This is where I do most of my editing, any kind of work. Um, I don't really like the way that this looks. Those shelves that you guys can see up in the corner are actually gonna go above it just to add a little bit to the space. I'm also gonna change out the chair, which will be a really good start to the space also, just to make it a little bit nicer in our bedroom. organizing this little corner here our room is like a dumping ground for stuff this is the first room when you walk into the house so I have like some Christmas stuff some stocking stuffers some stuff for baking there's all kinds of little papers I need to sort through as well my gym bag my purse so I just want to make sure that all of that is off the floor we got a new shark ion 720 so like a robot kind of vacuum and it works really, really great, but it doesn't work great when you have stuff all over your floors. So we try and pull everything off the floors so that that could do its job and quickly clean up the space. Then I'm just gonna sort through the stuff for the stocking stuffers. I actually just got my son a little Christmas book from the dollar store. And then I also have some little cute goodies for the kiddos too. So I want to make sure that all of that was organized, put away before the boys got home from school. <music> And then I'm just gonna sort through the stuff that's on our landing. Yes, this is as soon as you walk through my house. How embarrassing if someone randomly shows up unexpected to have all of this stuff here. There's dirty laundry, clean laundry, miscellaneous stuff, garbage, all kinds of things that just needed to be sorted out and put away. I'm thinking now it might be better if I had a basket on the landing here for things that had to go up and then a basket at the top of the stairs for things that had to come down. That way the things wouldn't get messed up. I wouldn't have to do so much laundry. It would definitely look a lot neater as well if people just came to the house. That way the next person who would go upstairs could just do that. And I did mention earlier, it's a little bit harder to clean when you have a toddler. He is two, like I said, he'll be two and a half in January and he has this newfound love for the vacuum. So he wants to help out all the time, which is really nice and sweet. I love to have him around, but it's just a little bit more challenging to get things done. And this is the aftermath of our gingerbread decorating houses last night. The boys loved decorating them. It got really, really late, so I just let them just leave it all there. Typically, they're really good at helping and cleaning up. But during the holidays, we're so busy and... 
they were just having a good time. So I just said, leave it there. Mommy's going to film anyway. So I'll just give that a quick wipe down. Well, guess what? The whole next day, it was like glued on and I could not get it off. So I'm just using a little butter knife just to kind of take off all that icing that was sitting there. Um, I love having this style table. It's more of a rustic looking table. It looks a little bit farmhouse, barn wood kind of style, which is perfect for little ones. It's not like a glossy table where you don't wanna get any marks and scratches on it. I can use a razor blade, a butter knife, anything like that to just clean up anything that's dried onto the table and it works wonders. This table is wonderful for wear and tear of having little ones and I'm just so, so happy with it. You guys can see my husband over there measuring our mantle. I have been talking about this for years since we bought the house and he is finally in the process of getting it done crossing my fingers. It's done for Christmas, but as I'm talking to you guys right now, the mantle wood part is actually done and he is stoning it now. So it's just super, super exciting and it's going to look so, so beautiful. And I ordered a canvas to put on top there of our family as well. So I'm so, so thrilled, so excited that it's finally going to get done. <music> Then I'm just gonna walk over to our family room and tidy up our tree a little bit. I did not film us decorating the tree. That's a really special moment for our family. My older boys love decorating the tree. That has been their tradition for years. And I did try and film it one year. Got really overwhelming for them. It wasn't enjoyable. I wanted them to decorate it a certain way. And then I just realized, you know what? This is their tree too. This is their Christmas. I'm going to let them go ahead and decorate it. Now I'm just kind of moving a few things around. We don't have so much at the bottom because we do still have a toddler and a little baby who's starting to sit up and pull at things. So yeah, so our tree is definitely a lot more bare than I would like it to be. And you know, you could see it's a little bit mangled and jambled, but that's okay. The holidays are all about family. So it doesn't really matter how the Christmas tree looks. I'll probably add a few extra ornaments to it, a little bit more garland, but I still love the way that it looks with the lights at nighttime. And then that's all that matters. Having a real tree is kind of messy. I never grew up traditionally with a real tree. My husband did. So we have continued that tradition for our family. Having a real tree definitely calls for a little bit of extra cleaning daily, but it doesn't take me very long to just quickly vacuum up around the space. This way I can keep my kids away from any of the pine needles and keep them safe. <music> Just realizing now it's 2 30 my toddler just jumped out of his crib for the first time by himself he'll be two and a half in January so I guess there goes the naps I don't know what we're gonna do he was put back into his crib after a little bit of consolation and now he's woken up his sister from screaming and yelling so she's awake and crying but my kids are coming home from school in about 15 minutes so I've got to get this done Ooh, gotta get this done before they come home the weeks leading up to Christmas, I like to prep a few kind of cool treats and just have that ready for them. Um, so tonight's going to be our family movie night. So we do this more than obviously once during the month, but this will be just extra special. So I can get this open. I can't get this open. I need some scissors. So yeah, like I said, this will be a little extra special because we'll have some fun treats within it as well. But I got these Skittles and they have like 15 different colors and I only want red and green. So now I've got to like sort through all of that. Rice rusk, so hopefully I can get this done. Alexa, what time is it? 
2.36. And we've got nine minutes. Can we get it done? Oh, she's so upset. Her brother was crying. He woke her up. It's okay. Do you want to sit down? Don't you just love it when you can get everything done in your house with a baby in your hand? Isn't that so fun? I'm thinking, kind of just have to embrace life as it is. Um, your babies are only this little for so long, so you may as well just enjoy the moment and just take it as it is. Right, sweet girl? So. I always joke with my husband, if your dinner doesn't look good, I'm like, I did it all with my left hand. Like, just be grateful that I cooked with my left hand because I held a baby in the oven. Me and you and everyone. We would run around the big house. I have to hide all this stuff because, like I said, we'll be home at 2.45. And it's getting up there in time. the elves and we'll be right back. So not only do I have one elf, I have three elves um, and they worked really really hard yesterday. They went to the North Pole, got some gingerbread houses for the boys which they made yesterday. So today they've been sleeping all day and they got their little picnic stuff ready here. So I'm just going to place that there. A little note real close if I have time. Alexa, what time is it? 2.40 So I've got five more minutes. I'm gonna write up a quick little note saying like, hey boys, we're exhausted. We worked really hard the past couple days with you guys. Why don't we relax and watch a movie tonight and have some cool snacks? I'm gonna go and do that. My 10 year old is 10, like every other 10 year old and he's not as gullible as he used to be. He is pretty gullible still. Not as gullible as he used to be so I have to change up my handwriting so I make it look a little crazy. But I'm gonna find some paper. Pretty cute. Yeah, I'm gonna find some paper. She's got three teeth now going on four. She's, how old are you now? She'll be eight months um, next week. Yeah, eight months next week, so big girl now. Okay. <laughs> 